Hello. In the demo today, I would like to demonstrate the Install Free Management Console. The Install Free Management Console, or IFMC, is used by Install Free to administer applications to users using the Active Directory schema and using virtual application packages uploaded by the administrator. Since the Install Free Management Console is a virtual application, you do not need to install it. It does not require a dedicated server, so you can use any file server or HTTP and HTTPS server. The IFMC does not use any databases, so you don't need to install one. It seamlessly reads the content of your Active Directory schema with no write permissions needed. It provides for a granular administrator's management, so you can create different administrators to perform different tasks and control different parts of your Active Directory tree. It incorporates a powerful event log viewer, and it allows for ADM files to be implemented on virtual application packages. First, let's start with an overview of the Active Directory tree. As you can see, I have here two trees, two different trees in the IFMC. The first one is the Active Directory tree read directly from the Active Directory schema found on my AD server. As you can see here under the main controllers, you have the different OUs, users and groups with the different member users. If I'll click the domain controllers, you can see that I've provisioned applications to the domain controllers and you can see that they were inherited by all the objects under the main controllers. The inherited applications are marked with a blue background. If I want, I can provision applications to the entire company by just clicking one checkbox. In this case, I will provision Firefox and as you can see, I have here modular packages of an update and separately packaged add-ons and plugins. Once I press OK, the application will be inherited by the entire OU. As you can see, Firefox was added. In some cases, if I want to deprovision an application from a specific user, I can manage his applications and just decommission the application from that specific user. As you can see here, the applications were removed from the user even though they are inherited from the higher object, in this case the administration OU. The Active Directory tree also allows me for granular management of the virtual application packages themselves. As you can see, I can right-click the package, choose the different resources the virtual application uses, set different policies, set URLs to redirect into the virtual environment, and I can also add specific ADM files only for that specific application in that specific OU, and set the different interconnectivity levels. And now let's show the IFV, Install Free Virtual Applications tree. The IFV Applications tree is situated under the Install Free File Share tree, which reads its data and content directly from the Install Free folder on the server itself. As you can see here, I have all the different packages found in the Install Free folder, and once I click the IFV Applications tree, you can see how these different packages were organized into IFV applications. In this case, the package of Firefox was organized into an IFV application together with the separately packaged updates, in this case an update to Firefox 308, and the different expansions, in this case Flash Player, Silverlight and Java. Under Firefox, you can see the cross-organization apps folder, which harbors many different IFV applications for ease of configuration and management, as well as ease of provisioning. When I right-click an IFV application, I can control many of the various options associated with each application. For example, in the Resources tab, 
I can change the version of the IFV engine, which is the piece of software that provides the IFV application with the OS-like resources. I can also change the language base, which provides the IFV application with the language resources. In the IFV application policies tab, I can change the way the application is available to the user, in this case online, offline or streaming, and I can also change the same options to the user data. In addition, I can make the user data delete itself after each session, meaning the application will be restored to its original state whenever the application is closed. The next tab, the URL Redirect tab, can associate an application with a specific URL address or path, meaning that whenever the URL or path is typed in a non-virtual application, for instance, if I'll type a URL into IE, it will be automatically redirected and opened with Firefox. The next tab is the ADM tab which allows you to add ADM files like the ones used in Active Directory. You can also change the way the application intercommunicates with its environment. If I'll click the custom level here, you can see all the different options, including the sharing of the clipboard, the local drives, network drives, removable drives, and many other options available for configuration.